send your brother some water. We don't need money, we need water. Newark Pastor Jethro James hosting Assemblyman Jamel Holly, together announcing the start of the distribution of 17,000 bottles of water already being delivered today to sections of the West Ward, but not limited to areas that might be affected by the growing lead crisis here. A goodwill gesture from a neighbor, says Holly. My involvement with Newark today and the situation that you are, are in um, pains me. But Holly and others more directly critical of the city administration say the response from City Hall has been surprisingly unappreciative. Reports from a number of sources say that Mayor Ras Baraka and his chief of staff and brother Amiri Baraka Jr., also known as Midi, admonished Holly, who represents Union County, for a Facebook post the assemblyman made last week in which he suggested the city's entire water system could be at risk. My focus uh, in my conversation with Raz Baraka, the mayor, and his staff who has called me on multiple occasions. I'm not going to get into the details, but I've always left the conversation by saying, thank you for the call, but I'm focused on Newark and I'm focused on getting you water. Whatever politics and whatever other things you want to get into, we could discuss that afterwards. But Councilwoman Gail Cheneyfield Jenkins, an administration critic and former mayoral candidate, was less diplomatic. She says she was in the room and heard the mayor's chief of staff's response. The phone call came in from the Newark Corporation Council along with the mayor's chief of staff, his brother, at which point in time they were saying that the council, that the assemblyman should have taken down his post because it was, um, it was misleading, the water's not poisonous. And the assemblyman said, listen, I'm, I'm dealing with water. He's like, you know, I've already told the mayor, you know, y'all worrying about a post from a week ago? Come on, seriously? He said, I'm here with my staff trying to get this water distributed and sent to Newark. At which point in time, the Corporation Council said, oh, well, we thought you were an ally. But because you don't want to talk and respond, and that's when Mitty said, oh, so since you're not an ally, then we know how to handle you from now on. So maybe that means they're not gonna invite them to their parties or whatever. Our repeated calls to the mayor's office to confirm the conversations got no response. But critics like Donna Jackson say, politics aside, the city's water distribution plan, limiting it to so-called affected areas, is not only irresponsible, but insulting, since so few houses have actually been tested. They're virtually making it impossible for families to be a part of the non-existent system that they have. They're still bringing people in. They're still taking people in the back. They're checking their address. They're telling them they're not in the affected area. They're going home. Testing of the city's water system is continuing. But how long that's going to take and how widespread this crisis actually is, is still unclear. In Newark, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News. Thank you.